My nail tech knows how to keep it a little secret. I don't wish for my success, I speak it. I caught a buzz and you did too, but you I look like I've been getting money, how reeking. You smell me, that's LV. Walk around with my chest out and my skin smooth, I'm healthy. I'm in a mix and I'm handshaking, but most of y'all can't help me. Most of y'all ain't wealthy. Most of y'all just dressed like it. Welcome everyone, we have a very special treat for you here. No trick, it's the NBA on Halloween. It's a special October 31st matchup. Tonight, it'll be the Washington Wizards going up against the Boston Celtics. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. These Halloween games are always a fun one, unless, of course, Greg, your doorbell rings while you're trying to watch these games at home. <laughs> yeah, man, this is when you just leave the candy bowl outside because these players are ready to put on a show, and you don't want to miss any of the action. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Hughes. Hey, the defense has the right idea there, but Jordan has the skills to overcome the contact. Here's Bremer, Hughes covering. And the foul called on Larry Hughes. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Delp. Here's wide open. He fires. Off target from outside. Passes it to Stackhouse. Wizards passing it around. Here's Jordan. Jordan is double. Here's Haywood. And the pass to Hughes. Kicks it to Stackhouse. Six on the shot clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. That's on Paul Pierce. Yeah, you can't really have any qualms with Jerry Stackhouse's energy. I mean, he plays with a lot of intensity, which is contagious for his team, and sometimes that can be a difference maker out there. Both free throws good from Stackhouse. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Pierce, good. Love the mid-range shot of Pierce, man. It is so consistent and reliable and fundamentally sound. Easily gets it off. Now, here's Jordan. His last out in with 20 points. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. Now, Jordan. Following the three-point attempt by Pierce. Here's Haywood. The rebound by Pierce. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Foul. Second team foul. So it's the Celtics now. Four-point game. With the drive, dealt. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Stolen by Haywood. Jordan against Pierce. Jordan passes to Leitner, and he makes good on the way. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Austin's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Bremer, Hughes covering. Pierce against Jordan. Now here's Pierce. Tight defense on him. Four on the shot clock. Delp the pass to Walker. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Austin making a switch here. Substitution on the court.
well was the Boston Celtics winning their last game against the Bulls. Here's Jordan. The second chance effort. Here's Leitner. And it's off the back rim. No good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Wizards leading by six. Takes a three. Walker with the rebound. And Walker's got the ball here for the Celtics. Williams against Jordan. Pass to Walker. Boston needs to get off a shot. Here's Baker. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And some changes here for the Celtics. Carr, he's checked in for Baker. And it's Jackson in for Walker. For Washington, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Jordan against Williams. Jordan can't get it to go. Celtics trail by six. Shot and game clock separated by five. On the wing, Williams. They could use a bucket. Rebound by the Wizards. Here's Stackhouse. And down it goes, jamming that one home. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Jackson with it. Nifty move. Got a hand on it. Stolen by Haywood. And so it's Washington in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Here's Oakley. Tries again. Thomas trying to break loose. And it's good on the way in. He is absolutely a wrecking ball on the offensive board. Charles Oakley crashing with a lot of force. Harrison passes to Carr. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Excellent D from Thomas. That's tipped. Stolen by Pierce. Here's Harrison. Jackson has the open look. The 15-footer. Good. Jackson's got his first two points of the night. Looking at the draft in the past few seasons, Greg, there's a lot of young talent coming into this league right now. And a lot of question marks, too. Uh, but you're right, Devin. Between the dynamic players coming out of college and the guys coming from overseas, I think we have an exciting new era in front of us. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Wizards? And guys, they've done a great job beating their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Jerry Stackhouse is checked in for Jeffers. Jordan comes in for Russell. And Larry Hughes is subbed in for Luke. Jordan can't get it to go. Celtics trail by nine. Wide open. Delk can't get the ball to go down. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Fires from 14. Jordan down low. Jackson on him. Passes it to Hughes. Stackhouse dishes to Jordan. Connects from three-point range. Jordan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Wizards. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. 
Walker against Jordan. Shot's good by Walker. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. That was the 2K drop. Is that move deserved another look? And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. It's his first trip to the line. And guys, you might remember that he was not at his best from the foul line in their last outing. Well, you know, whenever he got to the line, he just couldn't find the target. But nights like that do happen, even to the best of them. That free throw, no good. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Outside Jackson. A minute 20 left to play in the first half. Crafty move. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Almost got there in time. But he's waited just a little too long. Lou, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. Wizards leading by nine. Here's Hughes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And Williams, here we go. Thomas with the block. And they'll get another chance on the wing, Williams. Outside Jackson. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. And good that time. Got to do more than this to slow down Stackhouse now. He doesn't let tight defense bother. Baker, well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Baker's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, you can see the connection these guys have. They ran the play well. The defense had no idea how to deal with it. Stackhouse, the vast to loot. To the wing right side. Stolen by Jackson. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Now, here's Walker. Defense right on him. From deep. The shot, no good. Got it off in time. Buried from outside. And I don't know, I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And we are not going to have time. The previous play is under review. Tape. And the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got it. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Footage I'm making absolutely certain. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here and it's here to stay for situations just like that one and so it's the Washington Wizards enjoying a 12 point lead and welcome back to the second half of our Halloween broadcast Washington leading now by 12 Here's Lou. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Thomas. And he drops it in from the low post. And there he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. First team foul. Substitution for goal wizards. Here's Bremer. Outside Pierce. From past the arc. Kept alive by Boston. Walker's shot is off. The Wizards shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. 
And there's the pass to Bremer. Walker taking his time here. Fader on the way. Shot is good, and the Wizards' lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Pierce. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Here's Jordan, and he banks in the lane. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Jordan's got a lot of flash to his game. A terrific guard, loves getting tricky with his ball handling and creating shots for himself. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. So the Celtics call timeout their first. So Celtics making a switch here. Harrison. Here's McCarty. Here's for three. And Haywood pulls it down. Outside Jordan. Up and in on the way. He's got 12. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Celtics trail by 16. Outside Pierce. Delt. Boston. No good that time either. Yeah, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Haywood with a screen on Pierce. Six for ten with that shot going in. It's a good game for a lot of guys. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular, sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked. And he keeps it simple. Why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that? Delt. Offensive rebound. Here's McCarty. Pass to Carr. And another shot. Passes it to McCarty. Here's Harrison. Here's McCarty. Covered by Stackhouse. The shot's good by McCarty. When you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. There's 117 left in the third quarter. Hughes, the pass to Jordan. Shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Let's it go. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Here's Delt. Here's McCarty. Makes it off the glass. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. The pass to Stackhouse. The three. Good on the three-point shot. Stackhouse has got 12. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. Delp, the pass to Harrison. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pulls up. High post. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Leitner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Stackhouse. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Stackhouse takes it right at him to draw the foul. Up to the defense's challenge there. Washington shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago. About 77% from the line. You know, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Out left of the wing. Stolen by Jackson. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Here's Bremer. The feed to Walker. And finished off by Walker. Explosive move by Antoine Walker. Throwing it down with force. 
pass to Oakley. Picked his pocket. Here's Bremer. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Boston making a switch here. Pierce has checked in. Thomas a screen. Robbed up there for Thomas. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Here's Pierce. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Driving to the basket. Pierce has doubled. Here's Baker. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Definitely within Baker's comfort zone. He is looking more and more confident in that mid-range. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. One of the standout performances of our game, earning our player of the game. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. This is as good a game as we've seen him play. And this crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. He told them this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. We may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Kevin? Thanks, David. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain grant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. And Washington going with a whole new group here. Harrison passes to Walker. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Left side, Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Haywood. Out to the right wing. Passes it to Hughes. Here's Jordan. Five to shoot. The Wizards with another miss. Celtics trail by 10. Here's Pierce. Takes it inside. And all of a sudden, that great run makes this a ball game again. And now is no time to take your foot off the gas. They have got to stay aggressive. I think they will. I mean, they're close enough to taste it. So they're going to keep that pressure on and keep coming at it. And it's Jordan that's off the key. He kicks it to Stackhouse. Back to Jordan. Let's it go from deep. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got six rebounds here tonight. Pierce the pass to Walker. And the dunk by Walker. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that. And now we've got ourselves a ball game. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They lead by six. 109 left in the fourth quarter. The pass to Pierce. Out a 
a piece of it. Now Jordan. They need this one. And it's good on the way. And the Wizards lead by eight. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, Ben Baker really is a problem for the defense when he's locked in. Solid at hitting the glass. Does a good job on the offensive boards. This may be their most important possession. No doubt about it. As long as they don't make any major mistakes, this one's in the back. It's the first that makes it a seven-point lead. Two shots. So it gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. 34 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? I mean, it's iffy that there's enough time to even get a quick shot and a foul. I agree with you. Time is not on their side, but that's really their only hope, so I'm sure that's what they'll try to do. Thomas checked in for the Wizards. Here's Walker. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. And so Jordan will bring it up for Washington. They led by as many as 18 points. And the dunk by Jordan. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And, yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Shoots a fader. That one doesn't go. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and